Okay, so let's try our first letters. Okay, let's try it out. Mm. Beautiful. Homemade food is the best home grown vegetables and fruits. The best there is. I recommend try it yourself at home, guys. We are going to finally change these screws right here, which are quite ugly. Okay, on the Jeep. So we have on uh, another two there. On all the side mud guards, we've got them. So let's just get right to business. Okay, so this is going across here. I guess this one's going across. I'm not quite sure. Is it going inside? Yeah, so I'm going to figure out because some go across, some don't. Uh, might have to put my hand inside the door, so we're going to have to unlock the, the Jeep. And yes, we've got to open the hood on this one. So only at the back can we get straight to it. Okay, so let's get to it.
me, it looks much, much better. They're much smoother. Yeah, no, it looks definitely much better. Much more discreet. Yeah. Much better. So and, and it's my dad hadn't seen them yet. So what do you think about it now? I think it looks much better. Uh, and it's stainless steel. So it's definitely, it's not going to rust. So it's much better, sure. I agree with you. Yeah, it's an internal yeah. NL key. Yeah. Inter it's, it is, hey? Yeah. LL yes, yeah. LL key screw. Yeah. So, you think it's much better? This is much all better. sand, guys. It's yeah. not rust, this is all sand. No, that's much okay? better. This it's is all sand. <laughs> we just have to wash our cars. Because we got like this, um, this dust storm coming from Africa, from the Sahara Desert. So, all the cars are. Well, but they're all in the garage, but just because we go out with them now and then even to do the reviews They just got all dirty. So we're going to get everything straight. So These are M6s. There's only two that were M5s. They were actually but uh, had to Renew the thread just to make sure everything's good. So you like it much? Yeah, much, much better. Okay This door wasn't closed it Looks like it had a big gap, but no, it, was, it just wasn't closed Okay, so you happy with uh, your UMM? Oh, new build is going to be fantastic. I actually never got it on video when I surprised my dad with the restoration of the, the Jeep. He was so shocked because he didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> so now it looks much better. So. Okay, guys, so we will be doing a bit um, more reviews on it, more road trips. We just need to get a, um, a cover for the license plate so that we yes. can just film with more liberty and uh, more relaxed. Okay. So everyone, look what decided to come and visit us during the night. I was going to take Sasha for a walk and this little guy, shame, he was um, with his belly up, with his back down. Because they, they fly very well, but um, when they land, you know, sometimes uh, it doesn't go very well. <laughs> so, um, quite fortunate to get him. What a beautiful little fella. Trying to zoom here. How cool is that? Uh, we call the rhinoceros bug. I don't know the official name, technical name, but I'll put it in the description in English. We just call it the rhinoceros, rhinoceros bug. <laughs> Quite a beautiful one. Amazing colors. Wow. So. This, since I started doing this YouTube channel, they all just been coming up. <laughs> I think they all want to be in the channel. They must be telling each other. <laughs> Let's all go to the Daily Life Project channel. <laughs> How cool is that, guys? Okay, so now we've got to go find a spot for him. Okay, so he's going up my arm. <laughs> so he's not making it very easy, is he? Um, a bit more light here. Yes, okay. So his paws are pricks a little bit. Uh, it's actually quite cold. Sasha's making noises in the, in the garden. <laughs> Thought it was something else. Some other bug. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see if he can go on to the... He has quite a grip with these paws. I'm sure if I put him on this rock here. No, he doesn't want to go to the rock, does he? I think he likes my arm because it's warm. <laughs> Should I probably put him in the tree? And let him just... Um... I know they like the ground, this type of bugs. But I can see that there's... A lot of ants, and I'm pretty sure these ants are trying to like be scavengers. So let's see if we find another place. Oh, here's another rock here. Let's see if there's ants here. Point the lights here. 
Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, it's much more calmer. Okay. He has a better spot. And there's more grass for him to hide from the predators during the nights. Okay, can you point the lights here? Let's see if he goes now. Okay, yes. Okay. How cool is that, eh? Whoa. You have a nice camera, it doesn't make a big difference. Point the light more there. Yes. So I think he's happy. Okay. So now we will go away so that um, the bugs don't see him. And predators, other predators. Okay, so we'll let him go on his own way so that the rush just now, the owls and all the other predators with the lights will be saying what's going on there. <laughs> Must be fast food. Okay, he's starting to dig already. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's maybe camouflage him a bit. <laughs> yes, we'll just camouflage him a little bit. I guess he wants to be like more cozy, so let's just leave it like that there. Like that, no one can see him. We'll put the rock right here. So he's right there. The rock is here. And he's got a little shelter. The rock is steady. Yes. Just this pipe worries me a bit. A little bit of rock inside this pipe here. Didn't even know there was a pipe here. Okay, so now you can't get into that pipe anymore. That's for sure. He's already camouflaging. So he's trying to hide away, Shane. Okay, so let's just put that like that. It's very rare to get these bugs here, you know. We get them like once a year, only one. It's really like a mission. <laughs> and you can't see him anymore, although he's right there. You can't see him anymore, but he's right there. Okay, so that was cool. Hope you guys enjoy that. Okay, so we got another one. Wow, how did they all come now during the night? And they're trying to hide, Shane, because it's so cold. Can you see that? Mm. Oh. You're taken by the other. So now we have to get a hideaway for this guy too. Take oh, him I to can't the same place where they fight. I don't know. So because there's so many ants over here, he was here. They didn't find him here, so I'm not really interfering with the balance of what's going on. Because they didn't know that he was here. There's not one ant here, you can see. Not one. So they must have started coming out now. Um, I know there's been a lot of ants. They're all scavenger for food. To try to accumulate in their bunkers <laughs> but this guy's cold and it's just like i say it's very rare we've never seen two in one no. go so they come they like dropping at night okay so now i thought i was going to go inside because it's quite cold yeah have you seen how they get active just because of the heat of the hand mm -hmm. Just now, I'm not going to have any more heads on my hand. <laughs> so, we got this little fella here. Also next to a, a nice little, actually a quite big rock. <laughs> and I took out a little rock that was there. So I can imagine that he's also going to want to be like, I think this guy was out more in the cold. Because it's really chilly right now. So... I guess he also wants to get a little bit warm. So we're just gonna leave him here. Also camouflaged. Yep, he's starting to dig as well. It's just the insects. As soon as they find um ground, they just start to dig. So I'm also going to put some camouflaging here. Look at him digging. Look at that. See? Can you see? 
<laughs> now he's going for it. <laughs> so, they were really cold. I'm like freezing. Because I'm in shorts and slippers <laughs> and a t shirt. So, that's quite camouflaged. Okay. We'll put the rock a bit more like there. Okay, you can't even see anything, right? Okay, there you go. No one's gonna find that. And um, that's why I put the rock so that we can mark um, and tell people not to step there, you know. And then we'll check tomorrow if they're still there. The veggies are all good. It was like a surprise call because we're just um, bringing Sasha for a little walk at night. I thought it would be quick. Just now I can't even talk. <laughs> I'm very starting to shake. <laughs> nah. I think that was it. Just those two. Quite far from one another. But uh, must be like... They must all be flying tonight for some reason. I don't know. It's very rare for us to get these here. Very, very rare. Okay, so following day just checking up on our little new friends and uh, they are really gone into the ground you can see all the ground shoveled like a little mountain so they just excavated um, I say they because I really looked at the other one which we're gonna go check right now so you can't even see it's covered by by dirt so they just excavate a hole inside the dirt and um, I'll put on the description why they do that. Okay, let's go check the other one. Here is number two. Okay, as you can see, you see there the ground. <laughs> so he excavated the ground and left this behind. Quite cool. So I need to do some further investigation exactly why this happens. And I'll put it into the description. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that. So, just so you guys know, they say fan sound. And everyone knows that this is another area where this rock is and that other rock right there. Okay, I'm actually going to like paint it with a stripe uh, in green, bright green, so that everyone knows. Okay, I'll just do that right now. Okay, so we'll just do a quick mocking right here. Okay. So. There you go, just that. Now everyone knows where the marking is. Do not touch this area. I'm not going to put on the ground because it will disappear so the rock will always stay there. And now rock number two. There you go. Another green marking. Okay. So now everyone has been warned. So... I just thought about it now. I hope we don't get too many. <laughs> then I'd have to be mocking everything. There are these like giant um, beetles that come uh, now and then, but they never go into the ground like these ones do. Um, they just stay here eating the plums that fall on the floor. Um, so. There's nothing you can do with those. All I can do is get like a wooden pallet to give them some shelter. Something came out of that hole. Let's put our finger there. It's quite big. Must be a little mouse. Or a snake. Okay, so... Uh, changing these screws. Remember last time? They were looking like that horrible <laughs> so I've got this stainless steel that just stay hidden right there okay like that so you can hardly see it and uh, do not trip on it so much safer so I'm just gonna do the last one here
Okay, so that's secure. Hello, Sasha. You want to say hello? Okay, little baby girl. Little baby girl. Good girl. And there you go. So that's done, complete. Now next we are going to take care of the water tank. So I've got the steel ready for the frame. I'm also working in the headquarters a bit um, to show some improvements. I'm seeing there two raspberries looking at me. So I'm just going to tidy up here quick. Oh, okay, so this is booming. Check that out. Wow. I didn't know it was going so fast. Yesterday we only had two. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. Wow, amazing. Okay, so we're going to collect those. We're going to collect some plums. I'll show you guys a bowl full of fruit. Tomorrow get another lettuce. Yippee. Pate. Okay, so just fixed up the caddy. <laughs> really need to wash this cot. Um, so cigarette lighter. Whoever wants to know if it fuse breaks. That was the case of this one right here. You see there? Opened. Um, it doesn't say on the cover. And it doesn't say on the manual. So it's no use going to the manual because Volkswagen decided that people shouldn't be allowed to know the diagram of the fuse box for some reason, I don't know why. So that one right there is a cigarette lighter which you also use for your charges, okay? So this was the original one, as you can see, there you go. And now I change it for that one there. So it's a 20. Okay. Uh, the small one. I was looking at these big ones. Thought it would be one of these, but no. So don't look at these here. Don't look at the top ones. Okay. Just go for this one right there. Another thing I found out, which I don't know how it didn't affect the... the driving skill of the car <laughs> um, or any part of the engine or anything is this fuse right here so this fuse here was just popped out like that just like that so I don't know what's going on it's a good thing I came here to check this out so always check your fuse box guys because sometimes you something gets fixed on the car you know and by mistake doesn't get well inserted and then you might just lose power or something shuts off and remember there's um, no fuse diagram okay for the Volkswagen Caddy so now you guys know cigarette lights okay phone charger <laughs> everything is well inserted I also got to get this engine boat cleaned by someone, professional, because it gets a lot of dirt for some reason. Um, but that's just how it's made, the car. Maybe it's the car that gets the engine bay like the most dirtiest of all of them. I don't know why, I won't even like show you guys, it's disgusting. <laughs> Gotta get it cleaned up, then I'll show you guys before and after. And we have it all working now. So you really need this, you know. Don't have any way because I, I never charge it with that port there because it's not advisable. Man, I'm gonna wash this car and then use this car for the review. Okay, this week, next review will be this van, which I think is one of the coolest vans I've ever had. I think you guys will enjoy it. Just wait for it, guys. Okay, so now that we have a beautiful garden to look at, okay. And um, I found this old tent structure. Um, I think it's still in good condition because I don't want to buy a new one. Um, so 
I'm gonna mount this old one. We're gonna see if the if the cover still fits and is good. Um, weather's good, weather's hot, so we don't need nothing special. But I was gonna mount it down there, but it's too much sun and um, uh, I think cats will be more comfortable. It's too much wind as well when it's windy days. So we're gonna mount it right here. And like that it will give us uh, a space so that we can organize ideas and do more and more stuff. Because I have so much stuff to do down there with the water tank and everything else. Um, I got the space just to like uh, chill a bit and keep on working. <laughs> Our outdoor tent right here where you can get shade you know. We already got a, a bench over here. Two long benches. And now I have to just give a restoration to the table, varnish it, I also get that. And um, to celebrate our outdoor tent, which we don't know how, but was still mountable and, <laughs> and worked out. So we didn't have to buy one, that's cool. As you can see, it's all a bit dirty. But will work, will work for the summer. So here we go. Got the candle out of its plastic. Well, why does it come with this? So much paper. <laughs> okay, so let's light this up. If I can just find the the fuse here, but it's, it's weird. It's right in there. Oh, it's a pity I got like a faulty candle okay okay we're almost there <laughs> bear with me okay so yes thank you okay so that didn't work <laughs> i need a new one Okay everyone, so camera died, the battery died on me, um, unfortunately, so I have to get the stairs to come up to this camera. <laughs> and um, where were we? Oh yeah, so stay tuned guys, okay? Uh, the next videos will be full of cool new content, I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. And um, if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, feel free to subscribe, okay? Um, no pressure on no one, okay? Everyone's free, okay? Just do what you feel like. <laughs> so, let's light this up. Okay. Hold it like that. It does get a bit hot. No, you cannot hold it like that. <laughs> so, with this, I'll see you guys on the next one. And I'm out.